Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Tuesday, June 4th. More fun chips for Carnival Cruise Line. Yeah, Carnival will absorb p Cruises Australia by next March. This move will see the Pacific Encounter, which was formerly the Star Princess, and Pacific Adventurer, which was formerly Golden Princess, into Carnival Cruise Line branded ships, while Pacific Explorer will exit the fleet in February. This will increase the guest capacity for Carnival, which has grown 25% since 2019. The transition will see Carnival introduce tech upgrades and its hub app to the rebranded ships. p Cruises Australia has a 90-year legacy. And better late than never, Royal Caribbean's Quantum of the Seas docked in Seattle seven hours late on Monday due to high winds gusting up to 40 knots in Puget Sound. Now, the ship spent the first part of the day hanging out in the Anchorage area in Elliott Bay while waiting for additional tugboats to assist in docking. Now, the ship finally docked just after 1 o'clock local time, and of course, embarkation was delayed because of the weather hold, along with hundreds of guests missing their flights out of SeaTac. This wind issue has been a problem for the past couple of days in the Pacific Northwest. Quantum sails seven-night voyages to Southeast Alaska. And congratulations to Cunard Line as it added its newest addition to the fleet. Queen Anne was christened in the city of Liverpool on Monday, which was actually the birthplace of Cunard and the departure port for its first transatlantic crossing 184 years ago. Queen Anne will sail alongside Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mary II, and Queen Victoria. Way to go. And cruise line stocks were up on Monday. Carnival Corporation up 6.2%, 16.02. Royal Caribbean up 2.2%, 150.97. NCL up 2.6%, 17.19. And Viking up 1%, 31.60. If you have a lead on a story, let us know. Tips at cruiseradio.net. Have yourself a great Tuesday. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today.